Hey, what's going on, big boy? Not much, man. What do you know? Anything good? I just had my done done my day of work, my first day at my new job, and uh, oh boy, did they uh, use me and abuse me today, huh? <laughs> That's good, no, man. it was fun. I'm just joking. It was good. It was fun. Yeah, good. And how was your day? You had court? Had court today. Everything went swimmingly. Everything went my direction. So oh, winning. winning. Uh, you, it's so funny because the trolls were just telling us that you were going to go in there and lose. And then you come out winning. 100%, 100% win. Yeah. 100% oh, win. man. I love hearing that, bud. I love hearing when you win. I love I hearing that I win. You know, now, we didn't go as far as I would have liked. I would have liked some other things to be addressed that were not addressed. But, you know, but what I did do while I was there, 100%, 100% victory. Yeah, no doubt. That's awesome, man. It is awesome, bro. It is. And I'm going to get me something to eat. Oh, yeah. Go get you something to eat. And I'll, uh, you know what? I'll do an intro for the show. I'll say, let me put the banner up. Go ahead and like and share the video. And make sure you uh, subscribe, like, comment, and uh, do all those wonderful things. Donate if you want to. Uh, Cash.app slash money sign James Paul Von Helton. And money sign Johan on 770 if you want to give me a little dough. Um, people have been pretty stingy, Vaughn, I think, right? No one's been uh, doing their part. But that's all right. What comes around goes around. Now, Babu, how was your day by, without me today? You had fun without me? No. <laughs> no, you didn't have fun without me. It was just okay? Yeah, yeah organizing the room? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of unpacking. A lot of unpacking. Yes, I'm oh. just trying as much as possible before you come. Oh, I had no sleep last night. I got like yeah. four hours of sleep. I got nothing. I don't know. I guess I was nervous for starting my first day well, or something. Yeah, starting your first day, you're going to be nervous. That's I think long. I got like three, four hours of sleep last night. Oh, dude, man. Them dogs, man. Yeah. Them dogs keep me up at night sometimes, man. Where's that little device thing that you could put your phone on, the stand, the phone stand? We have that? You know what I'm talking about, the phone stand? The small one, yeah. So the dog kept you up all night, too? Hola, como estas? Comrade uh, Vaughn, the dogs kept you up that night? What yeah, happened? A little bit. Well, a little bit. Uh, you know. Yeah. They just got oh. really sensitive hearing, and so they hear the slightest little thing. Even even when, even when my outside dogs come back in from hunting or whatever, they <laughs> it's like, oh shit, guys, come on, you don't need to go out there every fucking time the dogs come back. You know, it's like, goddamn. But oh, the hellhounds go hunting. That's awesome. Oh yeah, they go hunting. Yeah, but I got everything done that needed to get done. So hey. That's awesome, man, Vaughn. That's so good. That's so good that you want to do one big day at court today. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, I did. I did indeed. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, in fact, she uh, she told me I could go on ahead and, and dissolve the um, the executorship and stuff due to the fact that. Uh, <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, she, that's well, good. Get this, get this. Due to the fact that the frost uh, started it so long ago, she said. She said, I, I can go ahead and just dissolve the thing. She said, she she's going to send me a document to fill out, and then that's it. It's done. Everything's gone. Everything's mine. Boom, bada boom, bada bing. Everything becomes mine. And then, um, and that then, is uh, that is some good news, Vaughn. Yeah, that is winning. That is winning. And I was that's, not a, thinking, that's not a small win. That's a big that's win. A big win. That's a big win. Yeah, because see, without the executorship no more, I ain't got to worry about shit. It's all mine. Right. It's you could do whatever the fuck you want to do with that yeah, money, yeah. and no one can say no otherwise. One can say shit. That's right. Well, see, here's the thing. Like I said, you know, I would, I, I knew it would go one of two ways with that. It would, it would either go with the way with where the where you started with the frost, or where it started with I took over with the new will. Well, according to the judge, 
we got to go all the way back to when the frost started this hole of blues. So, right, the frost and, caused all that trouble. Now they have to deal with it, and they lost and, big. And so they lost big because now that executorship, it's all gone. So the now. frost have nothing to do with you anymore. There's you and the frost are one hundred percent disconnected now. One hundred percent persona non grata. That's right. None okay, and it. now the, it's, we're still on the the we're still on for March first. The sheriff goes gives Larry a good knock on the Correct. door, and, his, and then the sheriff comes oh, and gives yeah, him. He gets his well, zets in the tuckus, right? He gets that, kicked in the ass is, right out. Yeah, that's I wanted to bring that up because you know I I made a special effort to to uh, to ask. Uh, so yeah, I have see they they received an oral warning, they received a written notice to move, and so now March the first. And and let's be clear, all right? They had from December the first to February the first to give me January's rent. Now. Ask me one landlord that would be that nice and 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 that kind to you. Yeah, the answer is zero. None of them would. All right. right. I, oh, that looks good, John. You Sorry, you are one of the you are you are one of the nicest uh, landlords I ever met. Yeah, because I assure you, no other landlord would give you a break like that. Right. No other no landlord would have gave you three times to hang yourself. You literally gave them three strikes. Yeah. yeah. You went beyond your way. Out of my way. To give Larry a chance to have a house, to, to live, to, to you know what I mean, to, to have a, 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 you know, not to be homeless. And look, he, he spat right in your face. He literally yeah. spat right in your face. Well, and so now he's going to get evicted. Now he's going to go bye-bye. Well, here's the thing. The, the thing of it is, I think, no, you want to know what get, what got him, I think? Here's what I think got him. What I think got him. No, no, no. That, he's a spiteful, he's a spiteful, hateful prick. Well, he is. And he had no balls to man up and say, Von, you won. Here's the money. Well, that's true. But here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that what got him was a good old good old fashioned case of karma biting him in the ass. Because, see, when he was in charge of everything, when he had the POA, he was supposed to maintain these properties and keep them up and running. And he never did. And the gods and the gods saw that they saw that he wasn't being a good steward. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, you know, as well as I do, the Bible, the Torah, the Koran, pagan writings, they all say the same thing. The gods expect you to be a good steward of what you're put in charge of. Period. Mm -hmm. End of story. OK, yeah. well, he wasn't a good steward. He was put in charge of everything and he fucking fell flat on his face and didn't do shit. OK. And so the gods saw that and they yeah. said, OK, yeah, karma time, bitch. And so, you know, that's what I'm thinking. Probably hit yeah, him. I, and a lot of that is pride. I think a lot of it has to do with pride. Is that he what he couldn't just swallow his pride and say, you know what, I have to be a bigger man, I have to give on his money he won. Right, right. And just and and he had to kiss your he basically had to kiss your feet. You well, know you what I mean? He, he still, and he know, couldn't he still, do it. He just couldn't do it and he, you know, well, now he's you know, homeless. He, you know, he still hasn't coughed up that SSI card of mom's. He still ain't got it. That green direct express card. He still got that motherfucker. He was supposed to give that up back in December when mom died. So I don't understand how, if he, that's a legal document, how come the cops don't come out there well, and put it exactly. in handcuffs? Exactly. That is, that is a legal document. He was supposed to cough it up when he gave up his POA. And he still got that motherfucker, dude. He still got it. As far as I know, he still got it. He was supposed to cough that shit up. And he never did. So, Oh, well. Oh, well. You know, like I said, man, I never put a gun to these people's heads. They did what they did of their own free will and volition, and they're they're reaping the rewards, buddy. You know, mm -hmm. sucks to be them. I never did shit to these to people. Them. I am on record. I never did shit to these people. Hell, I'm not even allowed. I mean, I can't even use my fucking magic on my own situation. I can use it to help others, but I can't use it on myself. It's like, goddamn. You know, but that, but I know why the guys are doing that. They're doing that to keep me humble, and they're doing that to control my happy ass. Because yeah, I, that's there right. Was a, there was a few times when I was ready to go fucking scorched earth. I know the, that. I know you wanted to go scorched earth. And the, and the, and the gods are yeah. like, nah, keep them chains on a little bit longer. <laughs> because <laughs> so, you know what, the gods don't want you to go down the path of evil too. Because exactly. you, once you once you open that can of worms, you'll be a bad boy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I used to be a bad boy. That's the thing. Yeah. I used to be. I used to not always be my happy, smiley self. I used to be, I used to be pretty shitty. And um, 
you know, so we'll see how things go. You know, like I said, you know, the gods are in charge. They got everything under control and they, they got everything going on and it's going to be, it's going to be great. And it is, it's going to be great. Good. They, they talk to me like they's going to restore all my shit. So, I mean, you know, as long as I get restored, I'm cool. As long as I yeah. get restored. You know, and the, you know, I'm sure it'll probably take a little time. Now, is Larry Frush drawing money out of that Social Security account, even though your mom passed? Oh, dude, what? How do you think he was? How do you think he was able to get all them pizzas and 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 live it dude, up? Dude, if he's if he, if your mom's be dead for a year and he's still cashing in her SSI, that's he's in, he's in that's Ferrari. That that he should yeah. he. Oh man, no shit. <laughs> I, I, you, think, you know what? what where do you think I got this shit eating grit on my face for, dude? What do you think? I mean, dude, when the government been, finds out he's been doing that, they're gonna put him in jail for life. Dude, these motherfuckers, these motherfuckers have been committing felony after felony after felony after felony, and I'm just sitting back. I'm just sitting back, laughing my ass off because I know this shit's all. It's all gonna come crashing down on them like that fist out there in that damn road. It's all gonna come crashing down on them, and 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 you know you can't sit there and commit felony after felony after felony and think you're gonna get away. No. It always catches up to you. You may outrun the law. You may outrun me, but you ain't going to outrun my magic and you ain't going to outrun the gods. I guarantee it because the gods will make sure it all comes back on you. Guarantee. Like I said, we pagans believe in threefold law. And yes, it is a law. Somebody was sitting there telling me I never heard it was a law. It's called the threefold law for a reason, guys, because it is a law. You know, it's, it's like karma on steroids, you know. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But like I said, the gods are in control. Now, there wasn't a lot done today that I would have personally liked to have seen done. But everything went 100 percent my way. Vaughn. And so the dissolving of the of the of the uh, executive um, of the executorship. Yeah, that's a that's huge. That's huge. Brother. Yeah, it is huge. It that's really not is. a small French fry, baby. No, it's not a small French fry. But I, you know, there was some other things I would have liked to have had done today. But that's okay. What do you? Oh, what man. else do you want? I mean, what the hell do you want, man? Holy shit! You had like a fucking, you had like a a three pointer. You're like a you're like a basketball player. You just hit a grand slam, and you're like, damn, I wish I had five runs. <laughs> you can't get five runs. You can only get four in a grand slam, baby. <laughs> well, you know? we're gonna we're gonna we're, we're gonna we're gonna get what we can get, though, right? We gotta get, yeah. get everything we can get, man. You know, get everything we can get. But yeah, it was hundred percent for me today. No, no, no lie. It was hundred percent today. Did, did the frost show up at court today? Did they no. actually? Uh, no, no. Were no, they supposed did. to come? I don't know. I really don't. I but don't they don't know. really give a shit because they're they're losers. They're losers. Well, they're they, not going to show up. It, even if I, they had to show up, they weren't going to show up because they never hey, they never do. Here's the thing, okay? Yeah, it's not about I, you know. A lot of times, what the gods have shown me all back through my history is that a lot of times they they would get mom to take shit away from me just for pure meanness, not necessarily because they want to be it spiteful. To I know that's what spiteful. I'm saying. They're spiteful people. Yeah, yeah. They weren't necessarily doing it to to get it themselves. They just want to make damn sure I didn't get it. And it's like, what the fuck? You know, I mean, did this some bit? Well, you know, the demons that were controlling this some bitch apparently could see down the down the road too, and seeing that I was going to get this great prophecy that I was going to be, you know, kicking evil's ass and shit. And it's like, oh shit, we got to stop this motherfucker. So they left, uh, they left them troll them, uh, them, uh, them uh, student loans hanging over me like a sword of Damocles. Left them, left the uh, uh, the the student loans on me. You know, got mom to hate me all this time, or or I thought she did. Now, thank the gods that before she passed, I got to know that she really did love me. But, you know, it was horrible, man. It was horrible. I mean, imagine thinking your mom hated you, though, right. this whole time, you know. And then, uh, then of course, you know, he got he convinced her to sell the the uh, the uh, the family businesses. And That's sad, property. yeah. But no, but then but then when she gets down here, he did it again. He convinced her to sell all of my dad's shit away, so that I wouldn't get it. Okay, so it's it's an idea of of just making sure that I don't get it. Well, why? Because apparently because he's spiteful. Was, he's a spiteful, hateful prick. Well, I th I think the demons controlling him are scared shitless that I'm gonna you know I'm, the gods are just gonna unchain my happy ass and it's gonna be open season on fucking demons, you know, and that's what they're afraid of. They're fucking afraid of that shit, man. They gotta be. That's gotta be what it is. They're just scared to shitless, man. I mean, you know, I'll, I'll, you know, 
with with me being with me being tied up, tangled up, and shit, I still managed to kick Major Demon ass. It's and gonna be me. Gonna be me. So I can just imagine what what they do if they if they unchain me, man. They unchain me and let me loose, man. I do my shit. Then all goes down, and that is that beef is my food. Oh, there's the food. The food's done. It's gonna be me. What happened? Yeah, the food, yeah. Well, you wanted some, Abel? So what are you having? Rib. I'm having oh, rib? I'm having a banquet banquet rib. Yeah, banquet rib. Banquet, okay. Banquet rib. You know, you you get a bigger box with with three things in it instead of two, and the banquet dinner is two dollars and the stopers is four dollars. But the oh, stopers, okay. but the stopers does taste a little better, possibly. You think the stuffers is a little better quality yeah, than uh maybe a little better quality, but the thing or they is, use a different seasonings, maybe. But the thing of it is you get more food with banquet and for let and for half the money. So, you know. Well that that's an interesting um mm -hmm. observe uh, that's an observation that's uh, interesting. Mm-hmm. And that little green box, that's even smaller than the damn Stouffer's box. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Michelin or whatever the hell that's called. Michelinas. Michelina, yeah, Michelina. Michelin is a tire company. Right, Michelin, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Michelina. Oh, man, I am wiped. I can't believe how tired I am. Oh. I bet. You know, it's not actually my new job. I love it. It's not physically demanding, but it is, you know, you're standing on your feet all day and, you Which know. Is something uh, I cannot do, sadly. Yeah. That's ironic. Babe, how's your internet today? Is your internet better? Is it better today? Yeah, the wife is at, in the new place is giving her internet troubles. Mm -hmm. So we got we got this little rinky dinky uh, Wi-Fi box T-Mobile gave me for the home internet for the TV and the laptop. I don't know. Let's see how well that does. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully it'll do all right. Now you say you got that um, X Xfinity up there. Yeah. Well, let's see how T-Mobile does. If T-Mobile is doesn't do do the job of. of but I suppose to that I'm going to cancel that and go with uh, Affinity Home Internet. Mm -hmm. Right now, because we went with T-Mobile and because we have two T-Mobile phones, getting the T-Mobile Home Internet gives us a discount. Mm. Okay, so that makes sense, right? Instead of going to Affinity and having to open a new account and getting all types of activation fees and monthly fees and service fees, mm -hmm. I said, let's bite the bullet. Let's see what T-Mobile will do. But mm -hmm. if T-Mobile is really bad, then maybe it's just maybe it's better to get a better service, different service. You know, mm -hmm. now people are saying Affinity is just like Spectrum, but mm. I don't know. Let's see. Well, Let's take a look. Maybe can I ask a question? Do we have any more hot dogs that I made last night? Yes. It's all there. Okay, good. Hot dogs. Yeah, I bought I bought these hot dogs last night. Mm -hmm. Hot dogs by the bomb. I made hot dogs by the John last night. They were pretty good. Mm -hmm. I got two. I got two packs of hot dogs. Oh, what brand you got? Oh, I, huh? What brand hot dogs you bought? Um, uh, uh, good, ballpark. Good Nathan's. I I think I I think I got Meyer. Hang on a second. Oh, you got Myers? Oh, Myers is good. Oscar Meyer Wiener. <coughs> so what's done, Babel? You got all the bathroom stuff done? 
Kitch is kitchen done? Kitchen is done. How's the small bedroom looking? It's it's good. <laughs> Let's see what hot dogs were. It? Hold on, it dripped. It dripped on me a little bit. It dripped on you a little bit. Oh, I love those, Brian. Wieners, yeah. Hot scotter, my wieners, those are good. Oh, I wish I were an Oscar my wiener. So what happened? All right, you know, give me a few minutes for accident, then you can come back in and... Yeah. Oh. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, it looks good. Good, good, good. <laughs> it's 77 degrees outside, and them stupid pups want to be in this house. I'm like, you ain't coming in here. Screw that. It's a beautiful day. You need to be outside. Sun's shining. Birds are chirping, literally. 70 degrees? Holy 77, cow. 77 degrees right now. Yes, almost 80. 80 degree day in Kentucky, man. Mm -hmm. In the month of February. Mm -hmm. Oof, man. Yeah, it's not too bad over here. I think we're in the 40s. Mm -hmm. But we're, you know, we're, you know, we're up north. Hey, Way up, up north. north. <laughs> yeah. Literally, you, you sing the song, it's literal now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, way up north, north to Alaska, north to Russia zone. But yeah, oh man. Yeah, that's something I never understood about Fallout Four. When you get what happened? Prime, what happened with Fallout Four? When when you get to Liberty Prime, Liberty Prime doesn't say he's gonna he's going to liberate the East Coast. He says oh, is that the big giant robot thing? Yeah, yeah. He doesn't say he's going to liberate these coasts. He says he's going to liberate Anch Anchorage, Alaska. And I'm like, fuck me, Anchorage, Alaska is that way, damn it. Well, <laughs> that's the, because in Fallout 3, when you got Liberty Prime, you fight in Alaska, and they and they and he's and that's what he says in the in the in the game. He says he's going to liberate Alaska from the communists because in Fallout 3, the the communist Chinese took over Alaska. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm guessing in Fallout Four, Liberty Prime was not was not reprogrammed or right. something. <laughs> no, apparently they didn't reprogram him, but I'm glad they didn't because he's patriotic as fuck. I love I love Liberty Prime. Oh yeah, I love the fact that he's pro America. Yeah, I wish Vehemently. Democrats. I wish Democrats fucking took a lesson from Liberty Prime. Holy vehemently, shit! Vehemently pro America. Yeah. Man. Holy shit! He loves America and loves liberty. Yeah, because remember, I'm following him. I'm following him in Fallout Four. Yeah. And he comes to this. He comes to this. Um, <laughs> he comes to this historical site where a bunch of Americans uh, fell trying to defend um, um, a particular area there. And he he stops and he says he recognized it, and he stopped and and saluted, and said it is the duty of all Americans to respect the fallen. And I'm like, damn, that's pretty that's pretty fucking cool. That's pretty fucking cool. So, so yeah, Liberty Prime is 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 badass, man. He's he's a badass. He's MAGA before MAGA was cool. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he's the ultra MAGA, you know. Yeah, he's ultra MAGA. Yeah, he's MAGA nine thousand. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. For real, for real, he's definitely MAGA nine thousand. But he's, but yeah, man, I just, I just, you know, I, I love that part of the of the game where you follow Liberty Prime. He sits there quoting all that pro America stuff, man. It's just fucking awesome. Well. It's awesome if you're a patriotic <laughs> American like myself. If you're not, yeah. then you probably think it sucks. But, you know, being a pro-American type of guy, I love it. I love that shit. But, yeah, like, apparently they didn't change his programming because he, he still says he wants to liberate Anchorage, Alaska. And I'm like, Anchorage, Alaska is that way, bro. <laughs> it's like, fuck. And thousands and thousands. That's uh, 3,000 uh, miles uh, to the left. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Wrong direction. <laughs> Wrong direction, bro. <laughs> Wrong direction, bro. <clears throat> Go ahead and let's see. Yep, bro, nothing but winning now, but nothing but winning now. I know winning. It's like uh, fucking Tom Cruise, man, when he was jumping up and down on Oprah's couch. Winning, 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 winning. Yep, that's exactly what I'm going to be fucking doing. Winning, winning, winning. Uh, uh. Hey, dude, let's party. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to put us on the main channel real quick. Okay. Let me uh, go ahead um, and hit save. Okay, so we're broadcast. Oh, let let it save. So we're broadcasting on the main channel. Do mm -hmm. you want to tell everyone what happened today on the main channel? I do. That was. I mean, to me, I think it's a nuke that just happened. You 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 won big. I won very big. Um, I went to court today. Everything went my way, one hundred percent. And uh, according to the judge herself. Uh, partially thanks to the frost, ironically, um, the uh, the executorship is is going to be dissolved. All I got to do is fill out the paper she's sending me, and as soon as I fill it out, that's it. Executorship's over. Everything's mine. Everything's lock, stock, and barrel mine. Everything's done deal. And then, kid kiddies, then we go after getting back what rightfully belongs to me. Remember, the judge has already stated publicly as well as privately. They must pay restitution. Now, obviously, they probably spent that money. I mean, every, even the trolls admit that shit, that they probably spent the money. So what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to turn over the Sester property, all them shiny cars of theirs, all Ooh, them shiny four-wheelers, oh, everything, everything they've gotten with my money, they're going to have to give it back. Sorry, you're going to have to give it back. That ain't there. And, um, and then... To spend. Right. And the third and, and not least, third but not least, is that uh, the judge said go ahead with the eviction for Larry, right? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The judge is quite clear on that shit. She was the one that gave me the forms. <laughs> she gave. So the judge gave you forms to say that uh, yeah. the sheriff is going to come and give Larry a zets in the tulkas, a kick in the ass. Yes. If I yes. If they're not out by March the 1st, that she gave me a form that I fill out. And then I fill out that form and I email it to her. And then she calls the sheriff and the sheriff goes. Out. In fact, all she did today up until my case was evict people. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. It's boom, 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 boom. Eviction, 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 eviction. Right, one right after the other. I said, oh, fuck me. This is good for me. I, this I, is I, great I, news yeah. for you, Vaughn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She, but yeah, the, the f fuck, man. Like for the last, you know, the first. Well, she didn't get to me till almost dead last. She got to me like at almost 12 o'clock. And, and up until that time, man, eviction, 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 eviction. And, and, and a, lot of time, a lot of times it was because they didn't show up for court. Yeah. No joke. No joke. They didn't and Larry being a near-do-well that he is, he's never going to show up to court. Well, he doesn't get it. And the thing of it is, you know, uh, but yeah, man, I mean, just. And, you're, and you were such a great landlord that you gave Larry opportunity since. December just to, to to just to capitulate a pay rat. I, and he didn't do I it. don't remember. I don't remember what live show it is, but I do know he was watching our live, or at least he used to watch our live shows. And I stated unequivocally, orally, verbally over my live show that the renters had to vacate or at least pay, right. pay their back rent and and get caught up on their rent. One or the other. And the judge told you to do that verbally and then give a written, written warning. So I went down here. And so now after I said it online for Larry, I went down here and I physically told the other renters to their faces that, you know, yeah. I, I want, you know, I want my rent caught up and everything. And, um, you know, so they, they had, so they had from December uh, to February. Right. And then they had the December to January, the the written the verbal warning. And then from January to February was a written warning, right? You sent no, papers. No, they had no, they actually got an extra month 
to pay their back rent and pay oh, the rent. So you they gave them two months for a warning. I gave them two months. Yes, I gave them two months. And then no that, but the paper warning, the paper warning for what? Oh, yeah, that's right. The paper warning was for February. Correct. I gave. Oh, them that's, the right, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So March the first, if they're not out of the house, uh, house is excuse me. Then I take that form that the judge gave me. I fill it out and I turn it into the judge. And then the judge gets on the horn to the sheriff. Sheriff comes out, boots them guys out, goes down to Onita and boots Larry out. And that's it. Then I got to hunt for some more renters that will actually pay rent, <laughs> which yeah. I don't know if that'll be easy or hard. I well, then no you got to take an assessment of the la Now, Larry probably trashed the place. I don't know. And I don't care. See, the really? thing of it is, if he, if he trashes it, it's on him because he was POA for years and didn't do shit. Okay, so, you know, if he has anything to complain about, he Well, maybe, complain. I mean, if he trashes it bad, maybe you can arrest him for being uh, well, it'd be uh, disorderly. Of private, it'd be destruction of private property, which is a crime in the state of Kentucky. And, yeah. You know, he, There's so, another thing they're arresting for. <laughs> I know, man. I mean, he has a laundry. I mean, he's using your mother's social security card without. Uh, and don't forget, know. he illegally used my father's two million dollars to put his boys into college with. He stated that live on his damn yeah. live show. Okay, right. well, that wasn't his money to spend. Thank you very fucking much. That was my money. How would he like it if I went to Big Jim before he died and took all Big Jim's money? Do you think Larry would be all right with that? Hell no, he wouldn't. He'd be all over it. Yeah, he'd be all okay. over it, like white but on rice. But somehow it's okay for him to do it to me. See, that's not right. That's yeah. not right at all. But it's okay. Like I said, the gods are going to make everything right. And so I firmly believe that. Uh, but yes, uh, I'm doing everything literally word for word what that judge tells me to do. And and she told me, she said, give him a verbal warning. I gave him a verbal warning. She said, then give him a, a written notice to, to vacate, which I did. And so now the onus is on them. If they're not out by March the 1st, too bad, so sad. I fill out that form. Yeah. And the judge goes out to all the, sends the sheriff out to all these renters and they got to they gotta go, man. And the, and the bitch of it is, if the sheriff comes and removes them, they don't get to go with anything except the shirt on. Right, the they lose their they lose their rights to the property, as far as I know. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. So, so if they want to keep anything, they better be getting their ass out of there right now, because when the sheriff comes, he ain't gonna let them leave with nothing. They, they except the shirt on their back. That's it. That's all they get to leave with. They don't even they don't even get their cars. He's gonna put them in a he's gonna put them in a in, in, in the paddy wagon and give them an escort ride to Manchester or London or what it, well probably London since that's where the bus station is. And that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it, man. Beautiful. That's all, we get. all right, great. Yeah, that's um, all. we updated the channel one. I got that done. All right, beautiful. Yep. We're back on the second channel then. Outstanding. Very nice. Good. Oh man, what a what a win. I can't believe we won. I I I you know what, Vaughn, you surprised me, man. Holy cow, that is huge. The guy is a pendulum, like, like you were saying before, the pendulum swinging back our way now. Mm -hmm. You're doing better in life, I'm doing a little better in life. The time, the tides are turning, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and it'll continue that way. I do believe, mm -hmm. I do believe it's going to continue turning our way. Uh, because the gods, this is know, probably a fake solar marshal account, secular marshal. Oh, yeah, secular, secular marshal. Secular marshal. That, well, that's because solar marshal has an icon. So right. Well, uh, secular marshal would be a secular opinion under a different name, right? Oh, is it? Maybe I that guess, is. I guess I don't know. I don't know. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing. I don't know. Um, Portland, Maine. Great news. Thank you. Thank you very much. That is great news, right? It is great news. Fuck yeah, it is. It's great news. But yeah, everything's now mine, and uh, so everything's cool. Everything's ducky, but yeah, I, you know, I, I, and I asked the judge, I said, you know, I was wondering about that myself because, uh, she was like, you know, we got to go with the, you know, the, when Frost originally came in the courtroom, which is way the fuck back there now. Well, uh, like, the judge actually said that. Oh, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and the thing of it is, and see, the thing of it is the executor is only for six months anyway. Well, fuck me. We went through six months a long time ago. And and she's that's like, what the judge was thinking, yeah. And then yeah, and, then, and, and she's like, and she's like, you know, you know, this shit's already. Expired. Well, she didn't say shit. She said, you know, this is already expired. And and I'm like, that's what I was thinking, but I wasn't sure, so I'd wait for you to confirm it, you know. Uh, but yeah, man, uh, everything, everything's, everything's a done deal. They're sending me the document. I fill the document out. Executorship is over with. Everything is mine. 
uh, lock, stock, and barrel, smoking barrel in this case, because oh yeah, uh, one smoking of, one barrel of, with a headshot. <laughs> well, one of, one of, well, the reason I said smoking barrel is because all them guns that they took, they got to give all them guns back, and if they, they have to give them, everything back, that's right. They have to give everything back. The judge has already said they must give restitution. Well, what is right? Restitution? They must relinquish with all 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 of your property that belongs exactly. to you. They got to relinquish. That's correct. It all has to come back. Judge has already said so publicly and privately. So uh, sucks to be them. And um, you know, hope now maybe maybe you know uh, let's 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 give them the benefit of the doubt and say they never spent a dime of that money. Well, then great. What they need to do is they need to get with the judge and put it in the in the account that that I created for me and my mother, and uh, then everything will be just ducky. Uh, otherwise, otherwise, uh, they're going to have to cough that shit up. The judge has done said so. She done made it abundantly clear. They must pay restitution. There's no getting around that shit. In other words, if they don't have it, you know, now if they salted it away somewhere and kept it, great. But uh, either way, they got it. They got to pay back and they don't have a choice. So it behooves one to uh, make sure you got all that money because that's a shit. I mean, it, money. this all would have been simple. If they were good, upstanding members of society, too. Right. I mean, if they were just right. good, honest members of society, we wouldn't have to be doing this shit right exactly. now today. Exactly right. Exactly. Right. Instead, the frost, they're derelict, you know, they're near the wells, well, they're, they're, they're fraudsters, well, they're two time convicted criminals. You said it right. They're derelict in their duty because one was yeah. an executor, the other was a POA, and neither one of them took care of the property. Okay. So, I mean, what's yeah, that? What a waste. What a waste. No, it you? really was. I mean, that, that heater, that heater unit over there at the single wide, it's been needing replaced for years. Why didn't they fix it? Mm. You know? It's it it's it's crazy. It's but, that's so sad that they just let that whole property go to rot, rot. You know. Well, that's well, that was see that was the thing. They didn't. I don't. I don't. You know, the property is quite a bit of money, but I don't mm. think they even wanted the damn thing. I just want. Yeah. I think they just want to make sure I didn't get it. They like I said. What did I say in the beginning of the stream? They're spiteful, hateful spiteful. people. Yeah, spiteful. Spiteful is the word. Well, he, and, and, and today's now, late, it, like Sesame, you, Sesame Street used to do. Today's yeah. word is spiteful. S for spiteful. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, now, you know, me and the judge don't, don't necessarily agree on this because I, you know, it is my, I am of the opinion after researching and, and talking with actual attorneys and, and whatnot. My understanding is, is that adopted kids don't get anything from their biological parents at all. Now the judge disagrees. She seems to think that they that I can still leave them some stuff, but I don't think that's true. I think that if I was to leave them, let's say I'm on my deathbed, I'm leaving them that garage out there full of stuff that belongs to them. That stuff's supposed to be theirs anyway, but still. So I'm leaving that stuff out there to them. But see, the thing of it is, when you get to court and they find out that the kids were adopted out, they can't draw from me legally. They can only draw from their adoptive parents. Well, let's no. see, let's keep going with what the judge does, and let's see what happens. Yeah, we're yeah we're gonna see we're gonna see what happens. I you know we'll see. Um, you know, I mean, I still got my Tigger here. I still got Tigger, so uh, we'll see what that means. I guess here eventually, mm. if anything. Now, let me go put this away. Yeah, you got it. Take your time. Oh. <sighs> Hey, Babel, you want to take a break and watch a movie together? You want to take a shower? Uh, uh, All right. Yeah, big, big win. In big court. win. That big was win. a huge, that was a huge nuke. It's a huge, it's a huge win, yeah. Because, yeah. because, uh, and and really, it makes it. I mean, the will, the will basically said I could do whatever the fuck I want anyway. But it's just the idea. I want to. Right now, I, you I, have it legal. Now you, now it's in a it's legal jargon. Yeah. 
yeah, no more executorship right. because we went by what the Frost did. So the Frost basically shot themselves in the foot on that one. Uh, so, so yeah, because see, the executorship only lasts for like six months. And, uh, and that was it. And so she, like I said, she sent me a form to fill out. I fill out the form and that's it. It's done. It's gone. It's all gone. Everything's mine. Then I got to find me some renters. Uh, so I'm going to put some yeah. ads in the paper. I put some ads in the paper. Which you got to find yourself some renters and you got to find yourself some Asian chicks. Yes, I do. An Asian wife, a couple of them, Matt, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> right. Absolutely. You know, you know, like I said, Layla had that dream. She had that dream three times in a row. And she was in the backyard, and there's all these women and all these children in the backyard playing. And she said, and she said, Daddy, I had this dream, all these women and all these children in the backyard. And I said, well, are you talking about foster care or something? She said, no, no, no. These are all my mommies. I'm like, what? <laughs> She's like, they're all my mommies. And I said, so all them kids are your brothers and sisters? She said, yeah, they're all my brothers and sisters. I'm like, damn. I didn't say it to her, of course. I'm like, damn, what the hell? So uh, I don't know. Is polygamy going to be legalized in the United States? I don't know. But now she had that dream three times in a row. Well, shit, when you get your inheritance back and you get a fucking lot of winnings, you could just basically run count Clay County the way you want. Just about. Well, you, you, <laughs> what are they going to do if you have three women married yeah. to three women? They, well, yeah, what can they, what, yeah, C, yeah, CPS ain't going to be to say shit. There's going to be so many women there. You know, and, 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 and let's, let's never forget this, folks, because this is very fucking important. CPS said out of their own mouths, if there had been a second woman in that house, they wouldn't have been able to do one goddamn thing. They tell them the head of CPS said that out of our own mouth. They wouldn't have been able to touch me if I'd had just another one, one other woman in that house. If I'd had two women in that mm -hmm. house, they wouldn't have been able to lay one finger on me. Now you know. After the Now family. you know. Yeah. The more but, you know, the more you grow. Read Rainbow, but here's the thing. The thing of it is, is that I can tell other people this, and they can spread the word and get the word out. So, yeah, if you know, maybe polygamy is probably something we need to push hard in Congress, because now they sure did. They, the hell, and the head of CPS told me that to my face. She said, because I asked her point blank. I said, what if I'd have had another woman in it? She said, we wouldn't be able to do shit. So. That's something to keep in the cobwebs of your mind, folks. I mean, that's what liberals want. The Democrats want to destroy the family. They want to they want destroy, destroy that. The family. Yeah, they want to destroy the family. They don't want women at the home. Oh, yeah, they make fun of them now. Mm. If, you're, if you're a woman that wants to stay home and have children and, and clean house and stuff, uh, they mock you now and call you a baby maker. Right. That's their new little buzzword to to try to defame you. Now, if I was female, which I'm not, but if I was, and somebody called me a baby maker, I'd say, hell yeah, I'm going to pop them out like fucking Arthur Treacher's fish and chips, baby. <laughs> <laughs> watch her really fuck, watch her fucking heads explode, right? You know, but, uh, but yeah, man. Um, yeah, they, they actually dog women now that, that want to be traditional housewives. And see, that's, that's sick. That's some sick shit. Oh, isn't that sad? That. Yeah. It is sad. It is fucking sad. They ought to not be doing that shit, man. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. But but yeah, man, I mean, she had, like I said, she had that dream three times in a row, man. And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. I guess I am going to be the new Moses. Fuck. You know, but I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. I don't know. We'll see what's going on. Whatever the gods have planned, I'm 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 in full agreement with anyway. What's big on the news before we do before we do anything else? Anything big, anything big in the news? Mm, yes, actually there is, and I bookmarked that shit. Let me go get it. Hang on, Matt. I bookmarked it. I got to put it over here though. Let me go get it. I, I saved it on one of my on one of my uh, um, websites. Let's see here. How do I put that damn thing? Oh, I got two things. No, I got three things. Uh, did I did I already talk about George Soros and how he, wants, he want, how he wants to to uh, turn the uh, Earth into an ice box and freeze us all to death? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, we fucked the sun. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's going dunk. We talked Sunday. about that last night. Okay, we talked about that. Okay. All right. Well, then let's go to the next one now. You, you're not going to believe this shit. Are you fucking... Well, you, you're you not only sitting down. You're laying down. You ready for this shit? This is going yeah, to I'm ready, right. Von. Another motherfucker is dead that's tied to the Clintons, man. No fucking... Oh, fuck no, me. No fucking bullshit. And, of course, it's an accident. It's an accident. They Epstein themselves? They Epstein themselves. Yeah, man. He sure did. He throw you on the big screen. Throw me up on the big screen. There it is. Throw me up on the big screen. There it is. Clint Maid's death ruled a suicide despite tied to a tree and shot in the chest. <laughs> How the fuck did he shoot himself with his hands tied behind a tree? Oh, God. I love that. I, you, you can't make this shit up, guys. You can't make this shit up. No gun found in case of advisor who let Jeffrey Epstein in the White House seven times. Oh. Former Clinton aide who signed Jeffrey Epstein into the White House multiple times was found dead in 2022 with a gunshot wound to his chest, an extension cord tied around his neck and attached to a tree. No gun was found in the vicinity. But What's the name death, of the guy? Who is this guy? Oh, this uh, is the guy? Uh, 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 foreign, former Clinton aide. Uh, yeah, but what's his name? The Clinton aide, what's his name? Uh, they didn't give his name out yet. No, they didn't give his name out. Maybe they'll say it later here. Um, no gun was found in the vicinity, but his death now has been determined to be a suicide, according to a report uh, assembled by the Daily Mail. How the fuck did he tie himself to the tree? That's what I want to know. That'd be that'd be that'd be a pretty amazing feat. Uh, it's just one of a long list of suspic suspicious deaths that have been documented among those who were in the circle of people that included Bill and Hillary Clinton. Uh, oh, is it Mark? Is it Mark Middleton? Is that the guy? Is that him? Maybe I don't know. I don't know. Is that the guy that's dead? Anyway, we'll see it. Well, yeah, the report of the death of Mark Middleton raises more questions than answers as it rules he died by suicide, despite no sign of a weapon that killed him. The report charged. 59-year-old was found dead at the Hyper Ranch in Perryville, Arkansas, last May. The report's uh, release was delayed by family petition to keep some information private. Uh, Middleton was, for a time, Bill Clinton's special advisor, and he was the one who led Epstein, a pedophile who reportedly died by his own hand in jail while awaiting a judicial action, into the White House on seven of at least 17 times Epstein was there. According to the report from Perry County Sheriff's Deputy Jeremy Lawson, uh, the Daily Mail said authorities were summoned to the ranch by worker Samantha McElroy, who had found Middleton's abandoned black BMW SUV. Middleton's, wow. body, Middle, Middleton's body was found shortly, shortly later. Uh, Lawson's report said, I could see what at first appeared to be a man sitting near a tree. As my eyes focused better, I could see a rope of some type going from the tree limb to the male. I could see that he had a gunshot wound to the chest and that he had a knot tied in an extension cord that was around his neck and it was attached to the limb directly above him. Uh, the report confirmed a search of Middleton's vehicle, found a gun case, but no gun. The Daily Mail added Middleton also flew on Epstein's jet, nicknamed the Lolita Express. Uh, more recently, had been working for his family's HVAC business in Little Rock. Um, WND reported in 2019 that Epstein, who faced charges of molesting underage girls and sex trafficking, was found in a Manhattan jail cell with injuries to his neck. He was found dead right. in his cell shortly after. Quote, and unquote, inju injuries to the neck. Yeah, he was he, killed, the guy. Yeah he was, yeah, he was killed, obviously. Immediately, social media exploded with discussion of the body counts of those linked in some way to the Clintons. Newsweek said the Clinton body count conspiracy dated to the 1990s when a now-deceased attorney railed against the Clinton administration's deadly 1993 Waco, Texas siege of the Branch Davidian Church that resulted in more than 75 deaths. The late talk show host Russ Limbaugh discussed the Clinton body count in 2016, citing a report from Rachel Alexander at townhall.com titled Clinton body count or left wing conspiracy. Uh, three with ties to DNC mysteriously die. Hmm. Limbaugh said at the time he recalled Ted Koppel, then anchor of ABC News's Nightline, routinely discussing the issue following the July 20, 1993 death of White House Deputy Counsel Vince Foster. In fact, Limbaugh said then that he appeared on Koppel's show. 
Mm. One, of the things, one of the things I said was, who knows what happened here, but let me ask you a question, I said. Ted, how many people do you know in your life who've been murdered? Ted, how many people do you know in your life that have died under suspicious circumstances? Okay, and see, that's where you get it. Okay, I got, I got a whopping eight people that I know in my immediate vicinity that are dead. Okay, that's it, eight people. The Clintons have hundreds. Okay. Right. So Everyone that gets in contact with the Clintons end up dead. Up dead. Yeah. So so something is up because no, I got a whopping eight people, man. That that's it. It's I either Hillary and Bill Clinton are going around mur- having these people murdered, or it's just a freak coincidence. Yeah. But anyone who associates well, themselves with hit Hillary, Bill or Hillary Clinton, they end up dead. That's a coincidence. I don't know, man. A big ass coincidence, isn't it? I don't know. How the, fu- how the fuck do you commit suicide with your goddamn hands behind a goddamn tree and a, and a, and a bullet hole in your chest as big as Grand Canyon? How the fuck? Yeah, do you that's not no suicide. That's a that's a, that's a murder. Suicide? Fuck yeah, it's murder. I call that murder in the first career- degree, absolutely. if you ask me. Yeah, absolutely. I said, Ted, how many people do you know in your life? who've been murdered. Ted, how many people do you know in your life that have died under under suspicious circumstances? There's your answer right there. Yeah, of course. The answer is zero, not a none, very few, Limbaugh said. Ask the Clintons that question, and it's a significant number. It's a lot of people that they know who have died who've been murdered. And the same question here from Rachel Alexander it's amazing the cycle that exists with the Clintons. WND has compiled a list of dozens of the most mysterious deaths. They include attorney Sean Lucas, 38, who helped serve the DNC with a lawsuit, claiming then DNC chairwoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz rigged the 2016 primary for, Hil- uh, for Hillary Clinton and days later was found dead in his bathroom. Uh, the cause of death was not determined. <laughs> yeah, mm, sure. I'm funny, sure. huh? Yeah, funny how, how that works, right? Uh, another was former U.N. official John Ash found dead in his New York home. Officials said it was a heart attack, but local police said his throat had been crushed by a barbell. Mm, okay. I guess uh, uh, Gregory Stevens came in a little too late. Did you ask the judge for judgment for the back rat? Yeah, the judge went full. The full uh, judge went full on throttle and said, "Dead, Larry's out. Here's the papers. If he's not out March first, here's the paper. Um, sign them, give it to me, and he's out." The sheriff right. comes and he gets kicked in the ass. Yeah, uh, that's in the tuchus, as they say. Yep. Uh, yep. Game. It's it's game. Set it's game match. over for Larry. Yeah. Game set match for me. Game set match for me. Let me let the dogs in. Who let the dogs in? Oh, oh, oh. I mean, Larry, I guess, could capitulate and, and pay back rent and start paying rent from now on, but I don't think he's going to be a big enough boy to to go do that. Could, but fully. I don't know. I guess March 1st is going to come and, uh, and then Vaughn puts in the paperwork and uh, yep. Larry gets put on the curb. That's right. And if the sheriff removes them, they're not allowed to take anything but the shirt on their back. Now, I've already been told that. So they better, if they want to keep anything, they better be getting out of there before March the 1st. God, I wish I could be, a, I wish I could be there standing in the corner wouldn't watching nice that. To have, wouldn't it be nice, nice to have a spy cam? On this yeah, I would love to just have a drone watching that. Yeah. Oh. And I'm not a nasty person, but no, Larry either, deserves I mean, it. You know, these people Larry deserves it. Well, they, they, they all the frost deserve it. They were going to leave me over there to die. Literally leave me over there to die. Yeah. Not maybe, not kind of. I mean, dude, when you cut off somebody's food, their electricity, their water, and, and you know, yeah, they're going to die. I mean, that's, that you know, that's common fucking sense, you know. And if these trolls are too stupid to figure that out, then I don't know what to, I, you know, I can't help them. I mean, you know, it's common sense will tell you that shit. You ain't got no food, you ain't got no electric, you ain't got no water, you're going to die. Yes, you are. That's just the way it works, man. That's how the real world works. But in any event, uh, yeah, 100% victory, uh, Gregory Stevens, 100% victory in my favor. And, uh, and the winning and the executorship is no more. It's gone. 
And come March the 1st, all renters must be gone because if the sheriff comes and removes them, they're not allowed to take anything except the shirt on their back. So, because I mean, where are you going to put a bunch of furniture in the back of a cruiser? Yeah, you ain't. Okay, so yeah, if the sheriff comes to get you, you're only taking the shirt on your back. So, you know, they better be getting the fuck out of my property before March the 1st. Because come March the 1st, I'm filling out that document the judge gave me. Oh, yeah, this is a good question. Um, if he has a judgment, could Larry go to jail for going against a court-ordered judgment? Or at least he could garnish him for the judgment? Well, not only that, but Vaughn, but let him let uh, Gregory know what else happened with the judge. The judge also sided with you and said all, all those things he stole, he has to give back as well. Yes, yes. the judge made it abundantly clear that the, the Frost must give back everything they took. You know, the, the and you of, and you made a, a list of um, I gave her uh, an itemized a list of, of everything, all yeah, of yeah, all of it. And I she ruled money. that you were that the list was correct and that they have yeah, to pay oh, the yeah. bill, yeah, yeah. If she had a problem with the list, I feel confident she would have told me. And, and she, yeah, so she in fact, so. she, she said, I'll go on ahead and enter, enter this in uh, the list. I mean, she'll go on ahead and enter the list in, so you know, so yeah, I mean, you know. What's done is done, man. Like I said, I never put a gun to nobody's head and made them do what they did. What they did, they did of their own free will and volition, and so they have nobody to blame but themselves. Do you see me going around here aggravating the piss out of people? No. You know why? Because I know it's wrong to do. That's why. Okay? And it's just that fucking simple. Another man, an MI6 spy who had illegally hacked secret data on Bill Clinton, was found dead, naked, padlocked, and stuffed in a duffel bag in a London hotel bathtub. Scotland Yard said it was a suicide. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? That's a suicide? An, an M, another man, an MI6 spy who illegally hacked secret data on Bill Clinton, was found dead, naked, wow. padlocked, padlocked, and stuffed in a duffel bag in a London hotel bathtub. And Scotland Yard said it was a suicide. Oh, my God. I don't believe that. That's just crazy. That is just crazy. Okay, is this an ad? Uh, yep, that's the end of it. Okay. Okay, that's the end of it. Well, you know, damn. Stuffed in a duffel bag, but it's suicide, guys. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't understand how that happens. You can get tied to a tree and hung and shot in the chest. Suicide. Yeah, yeah. Stuff in the buffalo bed. Suicide. You know, I mean. All right. Let me get this other one set up here. Hey, you know what? That's positive thinking, Gregory. At least Larry can have a new home in the county lockup. That's true. Yeah. You can sleep nice and well on those oh, um, oh, concrete yeah, floors. Yeah, Larry, oh, well, no, no, no. Larry told me. Larry told me to my face. He said, I have no qualms about going back to, to the Hooskow, the jail. I'm like, okay. Oh, yeah? He likes it there? I, I he, he told me to my face. He said, I have no problem going back to jail. So, okay, whatever, you know. Must like it there. I guess. I don't know. I don't think <laughs> I would, but, I mean, you know, whatever. Hey. Well, he probably know. likes it because, he, what, the bigger guys bend them over maybe? I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Who the fuck knows? knows? Yeah, nobody knows. Nobody knows the, knows the sorrow that I've seen. The sorrow that I've seen and the shape that I'm in. Yeah, throw me up. Any man. um, throw me up. What's man. big? What else big on the news? You got to throw me up, John. Oh, throw you up. Another big one. Yeah. For those of you that that were under a rock, the very first person to be vaccinated was named William Shakespeare. And he was also the first man to die from the vaccine. <laughs> he died at 81. So there he is right there. William Shakespeare, the first William man to Shakespeare. receive a COVID vaccine, dies at 81. Yes, yes. Huh, that, is just, that is just peculiar news. Isn't that Ron. weird? And there he is. Isn't that weird? What, what a world we live in where a guy named is William Shakespeare. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, there he is, getting his getting his uh, shot, getting his Fal Fauci out. Jeez, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Britain's William Shakespeare uh, was known as the second person and the first man to receive a coronavirus vaccine. He died on Thursday from an illness unrelated to COVID nineteen. He was among the first people vaccinated in the world. William Shakespeare had received the first dose of the Pfizer BioNTech uh, vaccine at Coventry Hospital in December twenty twenty. 
shortly after Margaret Keenan, the first woman and first person to receive a COVID vaccine. So mm -hmm. yeah, William Shakespeare uh, was the first man to get a COVID shot. And I, I thought that was kind of neat meant, you know, considering his name, right? Yeah. It's poetic. Really, you know, it's a poetic. Uh, yeah. It's really bizarre that somebody named William Shakespeare would, <laughs> would, would, but I didn't even know there was, I didn't even know the name still was around. I figured the name was gone, but, uh, but yeah, yeah. Bizarre, isn't it? William Shakespeare, the first person to get the, uh, get the uh, uh, Anthony Fauci and Bill Gates love potion. <laughs> the love, the oh, love. Yeah, fact. I, 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 yeah, I told somebody the other day. I, I said, you know, they were talking about getting, getting uh, their, I guess, getting either the shot or the booster one. And I says, um, I said, well, you know, you know, Bill Gates and, and Anthony Fauci love you. You know, they, that's why they're doing all this because they love you and they care about you. You know. <laughs> you're so being, you're so being facetious, Vaughn. Oh yeah. You're one little facetious boy. Huh? As, as, Do as Donald Trump said, "Hey, man, the vaccine's great. Go get your vaccine, and and I and go and I even got a booster. Go get your booster. It's all great, people." Donald Trump said that on Candace Owens's live show. Yes, he did, folks. I have a feeling did. Trump was bullshitting us when he said that that he got his Fauci out. Jeez. No, you think you think Trump actually did get the shots? Uh well because for the did. longest time he wasn't wearing a mask and and nobody and he did. and then uh, remember he wasn't wearing masks and they were both they were saying well you you don't even have vax you're not even vaccinated and you're going around a mask and then yeah. and then he ended up getting covid i think and then he recovered like 3 days later but, remember that saga and then they, and no, but now it turns out the old masks don't work anyway well, so I, they were I, fake. They were making us wear masks, and now they're saying, "Well, it didn't work anyway." They didn't work. So. No, they didn't work. A mask is all the mask does is keep you from coughing on someone else. It doesn't yeah. keep you from catching COVID. It yeah. just keeps you from coughing on someone, which that's a nice gesture. But you don't have to wear the damn thing twenty four right. hours. Just when you're, when, you know, if you feel like you're going to be coughing or something, you want to wear one. But that's all. That's the only time. Or unless you're a doctor in a hospital. You know, they right. have to wear them. But uh, otherwise, you don't need to wear a mask all the time. It ain't going to do no good. Especially if the damn thing's airborne anyway. It's not going to do you any good. That's crazy. It's not going to do shit. 76 yeah. degrees, bro. 70, it was 77. It's 76. Down. Yeah, it dropped a little. Oh, it dropped again. Now it's down to 75. My bad. But it was 77, man. It got up to 77 today. I can't believe it, man. That's crazy. That is crazy. And it's going to be, and it's going to be seventy tomorrow. It's going to be seventy tomorrow. But we're supposed to get thunderstorms tomorrow. They're saying, at least that one's saying. Now, Weather Channel does it. Yeah. And thunderstorm. April uh, showers bring May flowers. April, as they say. That's right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's right. Uh, Trump signed the order so fast track to fast track uh, the vaccine. And he is taking credit for it. Yes, well, correct. That's yes. true. Yeah. Yes, that's true. He's he 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 uh, he was one. He was the one that orchestrated Operation Warp Speed. See, a lot of people don't know that. What are you looking for, Bibble? That wasn't Biden. That was Trump. That was Trump that started Operation Warp Speed, guys. Not Biden. That was Trump did that. So you know, we'll see how things go on that on that front, guys. We're not allowed to talk too much on YouTube about that. So. Mm -hmm. I'm just patting my belly, doggy. I'm just my oh, here's the poochie dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Who is that? Who is that? Yeah, I need that. <laughs> Who is that, Floppy? Who is that over there? Who is that? See that over there? See that on the screen? Who is that, Floppy? <laughs> hey, puppy dog. Hey, there, <laughs> Floppy. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing? Is he aggravating you? Is he aggravating? I'm aggravating. Arr, 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 arr. <laughs> oh, gosh. He has no idea. No. He just wants to. He is ready. the most cutest puppy dog that I've ever seen. <laughs> See, I got I, can't, I guess I can't call him a puppy anymore. He's huge. Oh, he's getting pretty big. Yeah, he's getting good size. See, he I got a tuxedo on. All I need me is a little black bow tie, and I've got the whole song. Oh, on. he's so cute. All I need is a little black bow tie, and I'll have the whole set. Huh, doggy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, all I need is a little black bow tie, and I'll be set to go, man. I got my frill here in the front, my little tuxedo frill. 
here in the front. So all I need is a little bow tie to wear, and I'll be good. Huh, puppy? Yeah. All right. Get down. You're hot as a firecracker, dude. When it's hot outside. Hotter than a firecracker, huh? When it's hot outside, hot in here, and then he's putting out 98 degrees, and I'm putting out 98. Yeah, too much heat. <laughs> too yeah. Much heat. Too much heat. Whoa. Uh, anyway, no, ain't nothing up there. Ain't nothing up here, y'all. So we're we, we, it's been an, it's been an hour, Vaughn. What do you? Yeah, what you I, got, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I got. I got to fix my. I'm kind of tired my, myself, to be honest with you. I'm kind of. Well, my cabinet, well, my cabinets are are kind of. I've got a. I've got a little bit of a gap in between my cabinets, so I want to. You want to show up the cabinets real fast before we go, or? Yeah, I got to show up the cabinet. No, well, oh well, I could let's see. Did I show the fourth set of cabinets yet? I don't know if I did or didn't. I think he what the I, I I don't remember which ones you showed. I think I showed the third one, but I don't think I've showed the fourth one yet. All right, puppies, golly, calm down. Are you one back outside? Is that what you want? Yeah. Yeah, I think the last one I showed was the third set of cabinets. I didn't show. I don't think I showed the fourth set of cabinets. I think I showed only the third set. So yeah, we'll show. We'll show the fourth set here real quick. Uh huh. I got some pictures. I got the pictures. I got, I got the pictures to prove it, baby. Yeah, I got. Uh, I got gray marble countertops now. I got sand colored marble tops now. I got a dark green countertop. I got a red countertop. Got black marble countertop. So uh, it's getting there, man. It's getting gonna be awesome, dude. Awesome. Okay, where are we at here? There we are. Uh, uh, Sam Green. So will you have the deed once the executive is this up? What deed? What are you talking, are you talking about? about? The deed to the property. A uh, deed's already in my name, bro. Deeds already in my name. Everything is already in my name. I paid 70 bucks at the courthouse. It better be in my name. <laughs> it better already be in my name. I paid 70 bucks at the courthouse. It better all be in my name. But yeah, man, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, do you want to go over it one more time for everyone before we clo close out of the show? What happened today? Big victory, major yeah, win. While we throw that up on the screen, I'll go on ahead and say it. Okay. Um, Okay, this is the new cabinets. Yeah, that's. Oh cool. yeah, they you didn't show these off yet. These yeah. are nice. Yeah, isn't that nice. Man? Matter of fact, these are the ones they look like exactly what I have in my house right now. To be honest oh, with you. Oh yeah, really? Damn. Fuck me, yeah, exact. <laughs> very good, very good. Yeah, they're really nice cabinets, man. Like I said, I got that little gap there. I gotta fix that. That's that's that's. Where's the gap? Oh, to the left there. Yeah, yeah little, little right, gap there. Right there, uh, right there at the edge of the curtain. Yeah, I didn't even notice it until you said something. <laughs> I noticed. You kept my mouth shut, hadn't I? That's uh, all right. That's okay. I'll fix it. I'll make it right. You know I will. But uh, but yeah, no. To recap, uh, everything went swimmingly in court today. One hundred percent, my victory. Um, and thanks to the frost in part, uh, the executorship is going to be null and void as soon as I turn the documents into the court. So everything is now mine, lock, stock, and barrel. There is no executorship. There is no nothing, uh, because the executorship for my part was only supposed to be six months. And we go by when the frost walked through them double doors. We don't go by when I took over. We go by when the frost walked through the double doors. The judge said so. And so that's, well, hell, that was six months, a long, long time ago. And so, yeah, it's over and done. She sent me the, she sent me the document to fill out. I take it up to the courthouse. I turn it into the courthouse and bada boom, bada bing, it's all gone. The executorship is gone. Everything becomes mine, 100% lock, stock and barrel. Then comes the fun part about recovering, recouping what rightfully belongs. Oh, that's to right. Me. And then you, you submitted forms about what they stole and then, forms. um, she ruled also in your favor for that. They have to give back everything they took. She said they have to give back everything. It was not theirs to begin with. And so, yes, they must give it all back. Uh, guns, um, you know, because they took, see, they took a lot of mom's guns too. Remember, they didn't just take my gun. They took a lot of mom's guns too. Okay. 
They got to give that all back. They got to give all the money back. And Larry Frost, he was supposed to give back that mom's SSI card. He was supposed to give that back a year ago, and he still ain't give that back. So, yeah, man, they got to give all that shit back. The judge has said so. Now, like I said, she used the word restitution, uh, which is just a fancy way of saying they got to give it all back. Yeah. And, uh, and so, yeah, they got to give it all back. It's got to come back to me. And, and not only that, but the will says so. The will says clearly everything is mine, all of it. Even st and, and 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 even if they like say they spent okay you know because the trolls are saying well they already spent the money how are you going to get it back well you know what that's not my problem because the will and the judge both say that they have to give it back so yeah they got to give it back even if the judge didn't say they had to give it back the will does say that and the judge is going to have to side with the will and so the judge would have eventually said they they have to give it back anyway because the will says they have to give it back everything must come to me all of it documents money uh properties whatever whatever it all comes to me period end of story and now that the executorship is long past its prime well that, that just rules it even more in my favor because now definitely everything is mine there's no getting around it it's all mine now there's no question and so yeah, it's, it's um it's going to be interesting. yeah, it's going to and be the third and not and the third and not fi final not and not least is that uh, also uh, the judge told you to go forward with the eviction and gave you papers for it. Correct, correct. All the evictions are going forward. They must be out before the March March the first. If they are not out by March the first, there's there's uh, the sand uh, uh, there's the uh, uh, cabinets with with the sand uh, countertops. Uh, yeah, so they look the, pretty nice. Those kind of yeah, they look yeah, nice. That, that sand countertop. Goes if you had nice. marble countertops, white marble countertops, it would just look exactly like what my what I have right now. I did. I showed you the white marble earlier. Yeah, so I'm saying. I'm just saying it looks yeah. exactly like mine. Yeah, I changed. I changed it to sand for this particular one because I just I just wanted to. I'm well. I wanted to get a picture of the sand uh, marble. See, there's a nice up close uh, picture of the sand marble. Yeah, that's nice. It's really really nice, isn't it? They're expensive. Oh my god, dude. That shit's expensive, bro. But uh, but yeah, now there's there's the uh new wall. I got a new now wood. that blue carpet is a little rough on the eyes, I'll be honest <laughs> with you. Yeah, the blue's a, that that neon blue's blue, a little man. strong, yeah. It's yeah, a little that, strong. <laughs> yeah, that neon blue, man. Boy, that's strong shit. Yeah, yeah, and it matches perfectly with the with the uh with the appliances though. It matches great with the appliances. But yeah, it's loud, man. But you know, like I like I showed you, I mean, them colors were loud back then. They didn't they didn't pull no punches. They didn't colors, fuck man. yeah, they didn't fuck around, they you know. Right, boy. And they, they had some bright ass colors back then. They sure did. And I had, there's a damn fireplace I ain't converted yet. Damn it. I can tell because I got that outline there. I gotta get rid of that shit. Cause it's costing me FPS. But anyway, this then this is a new. Um, this either it well it ain't hick no that ain't hick, that's walnut. This is a new new wood. I got two new woods, hickory and walnut, and this is the walnut. And I don't think I took a picture of hickory yet. Oh hickory! I, I'll take me a picture of the hickory and get it up there for everybody to see. But that's walnut there, and uh, that's just a big red rectangle. There's uh there's the gray marble. And there's, oh yeah, okay. There's the black marble. Several different types. There's the sand marble. Uh, there's uh, I don't know what the fuck that is. I mean, what is that? Yeah, that was a template, I guess. Okay. All right. Anyway, that's got that took care of and handled. So uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Everything's, everything's coming up roses, and everything's got took care of, and and so you said you'd have the frost arrested for posting. Her obit. It didn't happen. I ain't done yet, silly. Everything has to be done in order. Okay. Yeah, Frost I'm, I'm is. Following, uh, I'm following the orders of the judge, dude. Okay. Yeah, Frost on the chopping block. He's gonna get Zets in the took us. He's out. Yeah. Uh, he's to, he's gonna be singing hallelujah with the angels in, in heaven here soon. We gotta we yeah. gotta go by what the judge is, says to do. All right. Yeah. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to do it by the book. By the book, she, by the by the right, book. Right, when I said that, she she had she got got this real silly grin on her face. She, she really liked that when I said that. Yeah. Uh, and but I that's me. I am. I'm that way. I really am that way. I'm not. 
Now, I'm not being facetious in any way. I really am that way. I'm, I'm a by-the-book guy. When it You're comes a by-the-book guy. Yeah, man. When it comes to the law, I am. Yeah, buddy. You know, I, I kind of I kind of ad hom and ad lib uh, when it comes to other things, but not when it comes to the law. Because mm-hmm. I don't need nobody knocking on my damn door, okay? I don't need Someone that. knocking on my door. Yeah, somebody's knocking at the door. Somebody's ringing a bell. Do me a favor. Open the door. And let them in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, you said mm-hmm. you wanted some Paul McCartney. There you go. Uh, there the you Beatles, go. The Beatles, the Beatles. It's been a hard day. It's night. I've been, been working, working like a dog. That's right. All right. But yeah, man, I got I got birch. I got walnut. I've got a darker walnut. I've got hickory. I've got peach. I got uh I got uh maple. I got oak. And I got ash. I got two types of ash. Oh no, excuse me. I got three types of ash. And so, yeah, man, I've, I've got all kinds of different wood. So if you got a favorite type of wood, hopefully I'll have it. Uh, you know, if you want a certain type of wood for your cabinet. Oh, yeah, I did green cabinets. Did I show you that? I don't think I showed you that. I don't think I showed you the green cabinets. I can't hear Vaughn anymore. Well, to be honest with you, the show's coming to a close anyway, so it doesn't really well, matter. Well, let's throw it up there one last time real quick, real quick, real quick. I hear you, you Vaughn. I don't know what this guy is saying. He didn't hear you. He doesn't hear you. He said he didn't hear me. Well, maybe you can see this at least. He yeah, here we go. I hear fine. I hear. I hear Vaughn fine. Yeah, throw me up real quick and let's look at the green. Is this too much green, John? Let me is take a look. Ah, ah, looks like the yeah. It could be the Hulk's room. It's it's not this. It's the not Green Lantern's green. room. It could be the Green Lantern. <laughs> It's not easy being green. That's what they say. No, it looks right. good. It looks good. Yeah, it looks all right. Now, who's the babe on the on the right there? Who's that? That is a that is that is that is Piper. Um, she is a oh, that's right. She is a reimagining of Piper, though. That is not really that's not really Piper. That is a reimagined Piper. Oh, okay. And um, you made her so, hot looking, is what you said. Well, is well, what you're saying? Else, actually, somebody else did. I didn't do that. Someone else did that, and I was using it because. At when you when you first meet Piper, she gets this weird look on her face with the, her, her her face isn't it 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 kind of looks like the goddamn Joker in the Joker movies, and it's like fuck me, you know, scary. It was kind of creepy. So uh, now this this here putting this on her, it gets rid of a lot of that that around the mouth and shit where she's got the Joker smile. It gets rid of that. So it doesn't get rid of it all, but it gets rid of some. So it's a little bit better. But uh, what I was thinking about doing is trying my hand at it. And um, they've got this thing called Face Ripper, which will literally take someone's face and plaster it on the character in the game. So I'm going to try that and see if I can get uh, Piper to look still like Piper, but without the damn Joker smile. I'm going to see if I can fix that. I'm and that try. being said, Vaughn, I'm gonna get going. I'm I'm a little tired here. I, dude, I, you look it. You look like you're ready yeah. to pass out on me. So so have a pleasant day, Vaughn, and have a better, a tomorrow, better tomorrow. All right. You betcha. Bye bye.